Well, we've got a little bit of a video game lull here. Metro Last Light comes out next week, but there's not a whole lot going on this week. So it's time for another video game preview. And we're in luck because Bohemia Interactive Studios' latest project, Arma 3, is available through Steam's Early Access. The game is currently in its alpha phase, so it's still got a long way to go, but I figured we'd check it out and see what they've got so far. Now I'm going to be honest, I'd never even heard of the previous Arma games until the zombie mod DayZ came out, and even when I did buy Arma 2, it was really only to play DayZ. But now we've got a brand new zombie free military simulator in the works, so let's get in there and preview that bad boy. Arma 2 was perfect for a zombie survival mod because of the huge open world it was set in, and Arma 3 follows suit, providing a ginormous environment for players to wage war in. Players can get a feel for the game by taking on various showcases that show off everything from disarming mines underwater to strafing enemy ground units in a helicopter, and boy is that helicopter realistic. I mean, I think it's realistic. Basically, it's really hard to fly, which seems legit, because I imagine a real helicopter is hard to fly in real life too, right? There's also a showcase where you can steal a car and then use its mounted grenade launcher to blow up a bunch of enemy vehicles, which is pretty sweet, and unlike the helicopter, the armored car almost never causes me to plummet to my death. So that's nice. Graphically, the game's got a lot going for it. The lighting and shadows are great, the textures look very realistic, although I will say that crawling through the brush and having the bushes in front of you fall away like 2D props kind of spoils the illusion, but overall the good outweighed the bad graphically, and it's important to remember that they're still working on this game. Moving on to controls, they take a little bit of getting used to. There's a lot going on in this game. You can switch the fire mode of most weapons from single shot to burst or semi-automatic. You've got a bunch of equipment like binoculars, compass, night vision goggles, plus you have the ability to give commands to friendly troops and a very in-depth inventory system, so it's easy to see why this game probably would not work on console. You need all the buttons on the keyboard. Combat in Arma 3 is interesting. The AI doesn't seem fantastic yet. A lot of times they don't realize when I'm there even when I run right by them. The main thing that makes killing enemies difficult is that their camouflage will oftentimes render them practically invisible. Usually when I die in single player, it's because I have no idea where I'm getting shot from. But the single player showcases were fun, and they were exciting enough that I now actually want to play the Arma 3 single player. So good job, Bohemia Interactive. When it comes to multiplayer, Arma 3 seems to alternate between insta-death, super-fast action and roaming around large, empty environments, depending on which game mode you select. If you're playing a capture match, the map will be cordoned off to force players to fight in a much smaller space against a team that may or may not be dressed very similar to you. Expect a lot of action and a lot of team killing. Meanwhile, if you choose like a wasteland game type, you're basically playing DayZ without the zombies. I guess one suggestion I'd have for this mode would be to add zombies? Or at least add in more vehicles so that it's easier to get around, and also more weapons scattered around. More things, basically. Add in more things. I'm sure they're working on this, and right now they're just trying to test out the basic stuff. Armor 3 will also have a full-on single-player campaign where players will take control of NATO forces in the year 2030 and battle Iranian troops in the Aegean Islands. The story kind of has me intrigued, although they've already managed to get the game banned in Iran, but come on, how many PC gamers could there be in Iran anyway? Alright, so to wrap things up, we've got a super realistic war simulator in progress that will probably be fun if they get the game modes right. Obviously, I'm not going to score this game since the game's still in alpha and it's just a preview. They've still got a lot of work to do and a lot of zombies to add. Just kidding. But seriously, it might be awesome. Ooh, or a Velociraptor mode. Not too many games out there with a Raptor mode. Anyway, that's all for this week. Be sure to check in next week for Metro Last Light. Really looking forward to that one. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.